I didn't find the cave, of course. Lots of people have been coming here for way longer than I have. Um, I think the first year I spent at SUU was the first time I ever came to Mammoth Cave. And I just thought it was, it was awesome. It was dark. I didn't climb at the time, so I had no idea, like, the potential of what could even become out of this. But, um, I knew that, I guess from that moment, I kind of realized, like, I appreciate the place I live and the scenery and the places I can go, I guess, that are close to Cedar City, where I was going to college. Um, came here with the intention to climb in the cave. And we brought pads, we brought shoes. Um, we hiked mainly through the whole entire cave with headlamps and just like most people get through the caves, you have to crawl on your hands and knees through a lot of it. And we were just looking at the ceiling and kind of wondering like, oh yeah, like you can make her out right here. Like there's tons of holds, like it's all there. Just, um, I guess, the main thing we were worried about was impacts that we'd have if we were climbing in the cave. Um, so we started mainly developing routes on the entrances um, just to stay away from the bats and um, I don't know, maybe just not being in total darkness either in case like anything went wrong or <laughs> whatever. But <laughs> yeah, so um, that's where we're not camping came from. <laughs> and why is it called we're not camping? <laughs> All the questions people ask us every time we come and climb here. It's it's usually along the lines of, are you guys camping? What are those pads for? <laughs> yeah. Um, you do sleep on those? <laughs> we literally just got asked ten minutes ago. <laughs> The first sequence um, was kind of the most obvious line. In the back of the cave, we just decided there's a giant, massive flake jug that you could start, and from there, there are definite holds outside the top of the cave. Um, the first portion is just like a lot of mini jugs, toe hooks, like heel hooks, all the super fun footwork that you get to use on a horizontal roof. Um, there's lots of big throw moves. Uh, you spin around and get your feet jammed into a crack. And that's kind of the end portion, I guess, of the first section of the cave. Uh, the next section is a series of foot jam, hand jams, grabbing onto crimps and anything basically to get through about 20 feet of crack climbing. It kind of. <laughs> um, but once you get through that section, you basically get to cop out on another rest, um, which I've figured out a way to put my whole body <laughs> into, the, into the rest, basically, and be able to get my hands free and shake out for however long I need. Um, it doesn't really feel like a rest because the whole time you're still kind of pushing in opposite directions. So you're still kind of worn out, but at least your hands are getting a break. Um, then the next section, really just a series of pockets onto what we call the death block, um, which is this big old hunk of rock, which as you can see from the entrance, there's a lot of these rocks that have seemed to just like come off the top and obviously just land on the ground. and. Um, so we definitely kind of took some caution looking at the climb <laughs> before we held on to the <laughs> death block. <laughs> but um, yeah, plenty of pull-ups and <laughs> attempts on the climb have proven that the death block is secure. And so after that portion, you kind of just get some cruxy um, crosses into more little pockets and then some big throws out to the lip that make the climb perfect. Feels like a boulder, like topping out a boulder.
far as Southern Utah goes, I don't think there's a, a lot of places you can climb during the summertime that are close to home. Uh, with St. George, the temperature is regularly rising above 100 degrees. It's super nice to come and like a two hour drive up the canyon to some like 70 degree temperatures. And especially in this cave, it's below 60 year round. Um, so as far as I guess the climbing potential for um, up Cedar Canyon, it seems like this just adds to a list of in numerous areas, um, places you can go to escape the heat and see some beautiful scenery. I mean, some of my favorite crags in Utah are actually up Cedar Canyon. <laughs> uh, Principality, Bunker Creek, a graveside even, you name it. It's all good rock quality and not far from home at all. As far as rating this climb, I'm, I, I can't, <laughs> I can rate boulders, anything from 0 to 15 feet or whatever, I can, I can put a grade on that and give it an okay guess, um, but anything that's longer, I would say I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> incapable. Um, we have decided though it is a boulder. We use pads to protect it. We don't, you know, there's no bolts on this thing. So, I don't know. I, <laughs> someone else should come and try it and I'll let them decide. <laughs>